how should we Im imagine Square in five years? What's it going to be like? What is it going to do for the world in five years? Well, um, you know, we, uh, we started out just accepting credit cards. We, we realized that it was even more interesting to build a full point of sale system that handled every single payment device in the payer's pocket. So if you came to Square with your credit card, we accept that. If you come with a checkbook, we accept that and offer a receipt. If you come with cash, we accept that and offer a receipt. And you have all of this interesting, uh, you have this very interesting channel with the receipt. If you treat the receipt as a publishing medium, as a communication channel between the merchant and the payer, then the potential for what you can do with that is just amazing. Typically, you know, in this country and, and in markets abroad, we get a receipt and we throw it away immediately, or we give it to the expense department. It's not useful. But they've never really been electronic. The closest we've gotten is the Apple Store with the PDF, but you can't interact with it. You can't run it. You can't keep it with you. So Square, to us, is about that communication channel. It's about that exchange of value. Payments is something that we have to do to get to something that's even more interesting, which is around that that merchant payer communication. That and mean we being square. That's where square. your opportunity yep. is somehow getting in the middle of that. Yeah, yeah. And and our first foray into it is this product that we launched uh, in May called Card Case, which is this little application. You link your credit card, uh, and you open the application up, and you can see all the merchants around you that accept Square. And you can see uh, you can open a card for each merchant. And you can see their full menu because they're putting their, their full menu in the Square register. Uh, you can see their hours, and you can see you know, their, their tweets. We included Twitter functionality. But most importantly, you've linked your credit card, so you can actually uh, turn this feature on we call um, AutoTab, which allows you to automatically open a tab with that merchant. So you can set this in, and when you're within 50 meters of that merchant, when you're walking up to the counter, your name and your picture appear on the register, as does your last order. So I had a cappuccino yesterday. So without bringing out my phone, without bringing out my wallet, I can say, I want a cappuccino, put it on Jack, they find me, they verify my picture is, is me, they hit the button, and done. My, my, my card is charged in the background, I get my cappuccino, I've never had to touch anything, I didn't have to wave any device, um, I didn't have to swipe a card, I didn't have to fuddle around with cash, and I get a little push notification afterwards asking me if I want a tip, all on my own speed, all asymmetrically. It's impressive. How does it compare to what uh, Google and, and Apple and others are excited about, what's NFC, near field communication, where you hold your cell phone up to pay? How would you compare it? Well, I think the, the biggest thing for me is like, um, NFC is another thing that you have to do. It's another action that you have to take. And it's not the most human action to wave a device around another device and wait for a beep, right? So it just doesn't feel right. I would rather just use my name to pay. I'm Jack. This is me. I... Aren't you going to say what you said to me this morning, the leapfrog thing? <laughs> well, so the, the technology standpoint, the technology standpoint is that um, NFC only gives the merchant identity after the transaction is calculated, which takes away the potential for the merchant to delight the customer. So with card case, uh, the, the customer can walk in the store, and the merchant actually gets a notification that the customer is in the store and that I had a cappuccino last time. So I can actually start making the cappuccino and say, like, you know, here, David, here's your cappuccino, and then it's done. It's just super simple, and that's what builds loyalty. That's what gets people coming back. And we see it again and then, again and again. We see it with the Apple Store. We see it with Starbucks, where you, know, you go to the same Starbucks every single time. They know your name. They greet you with a smile. Yeah. They know your order. It's, it's amazing. <laughs>